Hello and welcome to another video. Got a couple of unboxings to do today. I'm going to put that one to one side. It's mid-September now. I haven't been able to do many videos lately and I've had this one since um, around about July, mid-July. Uh, unfortunately the outer, outer packaging got wet when I spilled a glass of water. So let's get into this. So these are mini discs that are used. I don't very often buy used mini discs, but these are unusual. Maybe this is a different pa package than I thought it was. Let's have a look. Okay. Now, here's the package I thought I was looking for. These are Sony Bianca uh, 74 minute mini discs. So, let's have a look at that one. It's a really nice mini disc. Needs a bit of a polish. It's typical of a Sony case this, the shape looks the same, but other ones I've seen are dark, you know, with a black case. So it's down there. What are those cutouts are for? Oh, that's for the label, I think. All right, let's have a look at the other ones. So these are all used. I think the listing said they were used once. But the interesting th thing that caught my eye on these is that they're really nice, um, shell but they've they're colored as well oh, that's nice i like that color so we've got two purple one gray or black that's gray or black kind of aqua color and i bought these for a series of um playlists that i'm creating which has turned into turned out to be much longer um, playlist. I think it might take 30 mini discs, so I might abandon that because it's a lot of time to be recording when I could just stream it instead. And some orange ones. So I thought these are unusual enough and pretty enough for me to buy used. That's a nice one as well. And finally, a red or pink, what colour would you call that? It's sort of red, isn't it? Get some focus on it. Yeah, really nice, pleased with those. So, two of each colour. Excellent. So, pleased with those. Can't remember how much they cost. I've noticed though. The uh, now the pretty much global lockdown has finished. Mini disc prices are coming down a little bit, and this is one that was posted on the first of August. So this is the first video I've shot since um, probably about early July, I think. Oh yes, it's links. <laughs> some of this, um, some of this stuff from the '90s. It's not links. It's mini disc. But some of this links stuff from the '90s uh, is going for a huge amount of money on YouTube, on um, eBay. You know, if you've got the original perfume. So this is a broken mini disc. Now I really don't need to be buying any more mini discs. Oh, it's got the instruction manual. That's handy. MZR70. Recording mini disc in pretty good condition. There's a few scratches on it. I wanted to try this out. I've seen a lot of these. 
um, it takes a, um, a normal AA battery or rechargeable. There's a little bit of wear on it. Someone's obviously used the hold button a lot. But I got this for £16 plus a few pounds in um, postage because the battery door, he's obviously left the battery, I think he's left the battery in there, or she, has left the battery in there and it's corroded and he couldn't get the battery door open. And he's really scratched it up um, and then broke the battery door off. So let's see if we can get some focus in there. So I might see if I can fix that. Now, the reason I like this is, um, let me just pause the recording for a second. Okay, this is one of my favorite mini discs and it usually sits on a cradle on my desk. But my daughter um, lost the cheap mini disc that I gave to her, mini disc player. It's in the house somewhere, we just can't find it. And uh, so I gave you this one, but this is like one of my favorites, but it's relatively expensive, these ones. But the reason I like it is you can put a rechargeable battery in it, put it on the cradle, and the battery is already always charged. So I thought I'd get one of these, but these are quite expensive. This one's in pretty good nick. Sorry, it just ran upstairs and worn out. But at this price, I might be able to pick up one which is in a poor condition and then use two to replace, um, use you know two broken ones to make one good one. But what I'd hoped was the battery cover on that, I didn't even check, was the same as this, so I could see how it worked. So let's try and zoom in a little bit. Should perhaps have done this in 4K, this one. So there's that T-bar there, I think fits in behind those two lugs just there, that one and that one. So this will be the right result if I can get this in. It's pretty difficult to do and keep it in shot as well and be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I think I figured out how it goes. You have to hold the uh, mini display that way around and then slide this black bar into that gap there. And then the lugs on the other side locate, show you that. So these little lugs here, just there, locate behind this black bar in a couple of U-shaped holes. And all I've got to do is just squeeze that black bit into the, oh, there we go, can you see that? Just there, you see the grey bit is now positioned in the U-shaped hole, but I've just got to not snap it, I've got to find a way of squeezing those two shut. Okay, so I've got it done. If you're doing this repair yourself, it's hard. You've got to slide in the black bit of plastic into the gap in the um, battery, um, the end of the battery connector, and then just here, here's my, here it is. all the way down inside here, you've got the black part which is attached to the shell, the body of the mini disc, and the little grey bar is attached to this part here. And the way to do it, you line them up and then you put your finger on that end, there, and your finger on this end, and you push together. Like that. You can't do it like that because you can't get your finger in there unless you've got very dainty fingers. So you put your finger in there and then push here and here at the same time and it just clips in. And then hopefully we've got a working battery cover. Just zoom out a bit. And then keeping our fingers crossed. Pop the battery in now, close it up. These battery covers never were very good, but this one appears to be a bit warm, a bit loose. Let's 
as it would help if we put a mini disc in it. And we'll see if it's working. No, not, it doesn't appear to be working. Okay, so a few weeks later, and I've been experimenting with this, and when it's powered on, you get a faint view of all of the items on the uh, on the LCD. But the only way I can get it to show anything up is turning hold on, having the case open, and then pressing a the button. It says hold, but as soon as I close the case, it goes off again. It says hold. So I've taken it back off and I've uh, reseated the two small mini, um, the two small ribbon cables down at the bottom, and it doesn't seem to have helped. It looks like a short circuit. When I press that, you can see very faintly the dis all of the segments of the display light up. So if you've got any ideas what the solution to this might be, then please let me know. But otherwise, I might just uh, buy another one when I see one cheap on eBay. Thanks very much.